Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing good today. So, my friends, have you heard about OWASP? Of course you've heard about OWASP, but I'm sure, I'm 100% sure that OWASP produces projects which you have no idea of. Everybody fucking knows Juice Shop. We all know OWASP Zap these days, but do you know these other projects? Let me know in the comments below how many of these you knew. Let's get on with it because OWASP, first of all, it's a very broad organization that does application security, security in the whole software development life cycle. What does that mean? From analysis to development to CI CD implementation, etc. This is all included. So let's go over their Wayfinder first. This may seem like a confusing thing at first, but believe me, it's not as confusing as it seems. Let's start with the operational side of things, shall we? So what does this operational side mean? It's just, you have something in production, it's operational, how are you going to handle set security? Well, for this, they have mod security core rule set available, and we'll go over all of these projects later, but this is basically a firewall. Then you're going to iterate through the whole process. It usually starts at requirement. We started that operation. It's the whole end of the life cycle. Of course, through operation, you iterate and get new requirements. In here, we have SKF security rat. Ooh, rats, I like that. ASVS or application security verification standard. And the same goes for mobile application security verification standard. These are all requirement based security ways of securing your projects. Go through them when you have some time. These are amazing, especially ASVS and MASVS. They are lovely. Then when it comes from the requirements, we go into the design where threat modeling becomes important with tools like Threat Dragon, Cornucopia, I always have problems pronouncing that, PyTM, PyThreat Model, and Threat Modeling Talks. These are amazing tools for threat modeling your designs. Next up, we come into the implementation of the designs that follow from those requirements. And in here we have, of course, documentation. Documentation management through proactive controls, go as CP, and they have documents about the implementation in their sheet sheet series. These are things like how to securely implement CSRF, etc. Then we are going to go to the dependencies. Of course, applications these days have so many dependencies, but how do you keep up with them? How do you keep track of them? Well, we have dependency check and dependency track for that. All developed by OWASP, these tools. So again, amazing, amazing library that not a lot of people know of. And when it comes to the secure libraries, they have things like CSRF Guard. It's a library that you can include in your project to protect against CSRF. And they also have uh, the enterprise security API there. Next up, we go on to verification. So once that has been implemented, you go and actively verify the security. There we come to the web security testing guide and the mobile security testing guide. Two marvelous pieces of work, if you ask me. When it comes to tools for your testing, you have tools like Code Pulse. OWTF, Net Attacker, Zap, and AMAS. AMAS is usually known, Zap is known, Net Attacker, maybe it's a little bit less known, but I would really check out all of these projects if you're an active pen tester because they have some really cool stuff there. And also some frameworks for you to work with, such as the Glue Framework, Secure Codebox, and the Dracon Framework. When you do find vulnerabilities, you do need to manage their life cycle as well. You want to fix them, you want to keep track of them, you want to maybe add some, I don't know, some analytics, see how well you've done, see if you have more or less bugs than expected. You can do all of this in Defect Dojo. Especially if you have had a bug bounty program, you're probably well familiar with Defect Dojo because that is often used for your management of your defects. After X and iterations, you also have things like your policy 
gap evaluation where do you still have things which can be improved some gaps in your policies we have sam and again we have the asvs the application security verification standard and the mobile one but we also have the software assurance maturity model this based on a checklist can help you determine how mature your software level is usually it's very low so don't be scared it just helps you crank up your level of how mature you are in terms of security when it comes to your software you're going to collect metrics you're going to based on those metrics see if you have any gaps and and it's really important as well of course to train and to educate this is amazing stuff here of course we all know juice shop the top tens but also web goat is in here snakes and ladders and that's a cool project we'll get on that later pie goat the mobile top 10 and the security shepherd and they also have the iot top 10 i believe but they don't actively manage that anymore i think don't quote me on that when it comes to culture building and process maturing after your training and education, you of course want to get this company culture going of security. There we have the security champions playbook. I love this thing. SAMM again, so software assurance maturity model, ASVS and mobile. And then we come back full circle to the operational pact where we again have the core rule set. It's quite an extensive set of tools that anybody can use for free and it is very comprehensive. I urge you to go and take a look because this is something that any security engineer should, in my opinion, start with. This gives you a very good operation of the entire life cycle of software and it's not just your active pen testing. A lot of people start at that verification phase which is great, but if you want to go that step further, if you want to do better than everybody else, this is a perfect tool to get started with. There are other tools out there as well, of course, but this tool set is very comprehensive. It is easy to understand and it might have some things that you don't understand, like the ASVS, MASVS, like SAM, for example. These are very, very difficult things to understand. I mean, they you have to go through them. There's no other way. And it's hundreds of pages of information, but it is so much good information that you would be a fool not to go and look into this. Now, if you want to see what all of these things do in particular, stay tuned because we will be, of course, uploading a video where we go over all of these projects in detail. So stay tuned for that. Give the video a like. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. It would really make me happy if we could reach 50,000 subscribers this year. Thank you so much. You guys are awesome. You mean the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, man.